So today I'm going to be talking you through how to set up a lockdown communication to send to your patients via email through Campaign Plus. So to start with, when you log into Exact, you're going to want to go to administration at the top here, followed by the marketing option in the drop down. That's going to take you to your Campaign Plus page. So you might may have some campaigns already set up and running in this page. However, if it's blank like my screen is now, don't worry, it just means you don't have anything currently sending. So we're going to start by adding a new campaign into the system and that is done by pressing this plus one down in the bottom corner here. And that brings up this window. So there's a couple of things we're going to need to change in here to set the campaign up correctly. So we're going to start with campaign type. You're going to want to select that as a one-off, which is the top uh, selection here. Campaign design and sending, the next one down, it should already be set to automated, so you shouldn't have to touch this. However, if it is set to manual, please give us a call because there is some changes we're going to need to make um, before you can send anything out. Um, Final one, campaign reason. When we click there, it is a little drop down menu. The one you want to select is important notification, and that is just because the lockdown communications do not require GDPR consent to send them to send them out. So this page should look like this when you are finished, and we're going to finish that off by pressing OK. That will open up a new window, which we call the campaign dashboard. Um, so to start with, you can change the name of the campaign at the top here. You can call it whatever you want. Um, as the patients won't see this, it will only be yourselves and the practice that will see this. So for this one, we'll just call it lockdown communication. Uh, the start date will always be tomorrow's date with Campaign Plus. The, the earliest date we can send it out is the next working day. So please bear that in mind. Um, end date is automatically set to one month's time, but that doesn't mean it will, it will continue to send for the entire month. It's more for when we're, it's just the campaign will always uh, run over a period of 31 days. So to get into the template, we're gonna wanna select this campaign design button, which is here. When you click on that, it will take you to all your pre-built templates that we have within Campaign Plus. So your page is gonna look slightly different to what mine is. You'll have a lot more options than I do. Um, the heading that you're gonna be looking for is one that's called Bounce Back Communications. Um, they are all in alphabetical order, so it should be quite near the top. If you don't have a heading called Bounce Back Communications, uh, please get in touch with us because we'll add that in for you. So we're going to click on the heading for Bounce Back Communications to open up all the templates available under the heading. Um, again, you're going to have a few more templates than I do, uh, but the one that you are looking for is the one that is called National Lockdown Communication. Um, it may be nearer the bottom on your screen. So we're going to select the template by pressing the select button on the right hand side and that is going to take us into a screen that looks like this. So the only thing you'll need to do on this page at the moment is press this edit button which is this button here on the, again on the right hand side um, and when we click that it's going to take us into the template and um, it may come up with loading for a few minutes. So this is what the template should look like. Um, your logo should already be in this top box here. However, if it looks like this, don't worry, we can, you can upload your own logo and that's done by simply pressing this button here in the bottom left of the image block saying upload a new image. When you select that, it's gonna take you to your desktop files on the computer that you're using. You just need to find a JPEG or a PNG file of your logo, select it, and then open it. It will upload it into the template, which should then show there for you. So you've got the all the wording here. It's simply just a text block, so you can click it. Type over or remove anything that you want, don't want, um, and make any edits that you want. Maybe there's things different in your practice to what our generic wording says. Anything in these little brackets here, that those are merge fields. So they, that will pull your information through when the email goes live. So for instance, the practice name will be your practice name and the patient first name will have each of their first name on there. So the only other thing that you're probably gonna need to change on this template 
um, apart from the wording if you are making changes is adding in your social media links which is this bit at the bottom in the footer bar and to do that you simply click on the footer bar um, and you should get this social block bit come up on the left hand side if it doesn't come up straight away um, when you click on the footer just select this toolbox um, button here and it should open for you uh, so here you have the option to switch on and off whatever social medias you have or haven't got um, depending on what you want to include um, all you'll need to do then is copy and paste the website url of um, your socials into these boxes underneath they will then become hyperlinks for your patients to click on okay so that's everything within the editing of the template so when you're happy with it you can click this save button at the top here and then this will take you into a preview page so you can see what it will look like uh, from a patient perspective um, so all the merge fields that were included i should now um, show your practice details um, if they don't uh, please give us a call we'll we'll have a look at that for you so um, the email subject at the top here you're going to need to pick something and this is what patients will see um, usually just pop something in there that is relevant to the email that you're sending um, and once you've done that so for this instance we'll choose uh, we'll just put test as the email subject when you've done that scroll down to the bottom and you've got a couple of buttons here so if you notice there is a change you want to make to the template you've spelled a word incorrectly or you want to add something in you can go back to the edit page by pressing this edit again button and it will take you back to the previous page to make those changes the test email button which is this orange button next to it when you click that you can pop in your email address there and press the send email that will then send an email to your to the email address you put in um, you can just test, test that it looks okay on a mobile device and a desktop um, to make sure it's all spaced correctly and looks professional and then finally the save and approve button so the save button um, that is a button for if you want to save your work and return to edit it later um, it will not send uh, out to patients when, if you only press save the approve button however that is the button we will press when you want to lock in the template to the campaign so you can't make any more changes to it so as long as you're 100% happy with the template just click that approve button there and it will take you back to this first screen here um, this button up here will now be highlighted for you to click you will need to approve the campaign by clicking the button um, before the campaign will actually activate so please ensure that is done um, so we'll click there and then it will come up saying thank you the campaign is now approved that is it for this page so we're going to click on the close button down here to take you back to the dashboard it will come up it may come up not responding for a few seconds to a minute it hasn't crashed so don't worry it is just where it is pulling the template you've just created into the system um, you'll know it's finished because it will show here just like it is on my screen there okay so the last thing you'll need uh, last two things you'll need to do on here is the campaign services um, and usually we use this section for if we're sending a marketing campaign uh, we would put in relevant treatment codes into this section uh, for the codes we want to track for money money return however because this one is a communication we're not tracking for monetary return we're going to put in a uh, miscellaneous notes code and that is done by pressing this button here which is an insert book treatment services that is going to bring up a full list of your of your um, service codes within exact so usually the code we use if you put in the letter z and choose this miscellaneous code here if you um, don't have one the notes code is also fine okay uh, we're going to want to just tick that little box there so it looks like that um, and then finally it is the contact list so this contact list is fairly simple um, and we do add the contact list into the campaign by this plus one button on the right hand side 
and followed by the little button with the lines on it with the select a query template. And when you click there, you'll have a list of all the uh, contact lists you previously run on your system. If there is one relevant to the patients you want to send the email to, feel free to just choose that and press OK. However, if you don't have one already, just press this plus one, which is down here, add a new query template. So when you click that, we'll have another new window open. So we're going to call um, our template lockdown communication, just like the uh, campaign name. So you've already got the options for active patients that are over 18 years of age up to 99 years of age. Now, the only thing you'll really need to add into this bit is to include those that have got an email address. And that is simply done by pressing this first button on the right hand side here, scrolling all the way down to the bottom, followed by sending email address. So we're gonna press okay, make sure it says patients with a sending email address. Okay again, and your contact list should look like this. Okay, uh, when it does, just okay on all the boxes that are open on your screen now until you get to um, here. So usually you'd have a long, a green bar like you would with any contact list running across the screen. Uh, sometimes it may take a little while depending on your server speed, um, but when it finishes, a box like this will come up saying how many patients are on your list. Do you want to create this list? We're going to say yes. Uh, you'll then get another uh, green bar going across the screen where it's pulling the patients into the campaign and that number will then show up here when that's finished. Okay, so that is it for creating a campaign and getting the patients ready. So we're going to press OK down here. Do not, please do not press cancel at this stage because if you do, uh, it will delete the entire campaign and we'll have to start from scratch. Um, so we're going to press OK and that is going to pop into your list up here. So it will have the name of your campaign. It's going to start tomorrow, how many patients it's going to send to and then it should be orange with a waiting to be started um, next to it. So to simply get it to uh, start sending, we're going to press this play button, which is on the right hand side. Uh, if it is greyed out, you'll need to log into a higher uh, user, uh, admin or super user. But press that and then this box will come up saying budgeted cost zero. Um, that's because it's an email and emails are free through Campaign Plus. Uh, start date of tomorrow's date. We're then going to press OK. And then that orange will change to yellow followed by campaign will start in one day. Uh, when you come into Campaign Plus uh, the next working day, that should now be green saying day one of 31. Okay. If you have any questions or you get stuck or if something isn't working like I've just shown, uh, please let us know and we'll talk you through that. Okay, thank you.